you can now play Xbox One and Series X games right on your Android or iPhone. Cloud gaming is the future and the future is now. Hey G Nation, I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot, the top 10 best Xbox One and Series X games to play on your mobile without a controller. These are my personal picks and before we get started, just want to give a quick thanks to Xbox for the Game Pass, which is the only thing you will need to play these games on your device. And with that out of the way, let's do this! Number 10. Killer Instinct Definitive Edition This is the third game in the series and a reboot that first released back in 2016. The Definitive Edition includes all 26 characters and 20 stages from the first three seasons along with Killer Instinct Classic 1 and 2. Back when the first game came out, I was just too busy getting better at Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, but as soon as I got into that first match, I was in for a treat. The fighting is fast-paced, the combos and specials are frantic and flashy, and the characters and level design look stunning. There's a story mode, a survival and online multiplayer mode, and the Shadow Lab is a mode that analyzes how you play the game to create a shadow fighter for any character based on your playstyle and even flaws. You can then send your shadow fighter to fight against other players online, and the stronger you grow as a fighter, the stronger your shadow fighter gets. Really cool feature. Killer Instincts plays fine on mobile without a controller and it is loads of fun. Number 9. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a journey into a savage viking land and you play as Senua, a Celtic warrior struggling with trauma and psychosis. The game mixes in puzzle solving with some heavy action adventure and I found the two to be very well balanced. The journey that you're on is both violent and tragic and yet this is not a story of pain and suffering, but one of determination and perseverance, as the game constantly challenges you as Senua with the dark and unforgiving world on one hand and the voices inside your head on the other. And while it does have a few gameplay mechanic flaws, the storytelling here is an absolute masterpiece. The visuals are great, the soundtrack amazing, the puzzles are decent and the combat is satisfying. Hellblade is a game that deserves your full attention and you won't be disappointed. Also, kudos to the developers because mental health is regarded by most game makers as a topic to avoid. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the arch illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. Number 8. Minecraft Dungeons Minecraft Dungeons was released in February 2021 and it is an action-adventure game inspired by classic dungeon crawlers with RPG elements. The story takes place in Minecraft's overworld as an illager named Archie stumbles upon the Orb of Dominance, which corrupts him, making him unleash terror on all those who wronged him and then some. Unlike Minecraft, there is a linear story here that you can play solo or team up with up to 3 players online. Minecraft Dungeons doesn't have an open world or the mining or building features, but what it does bring is a hack and slash dungeon crawler RPG with an isometric view and a lot of charm. This is a great spin-off of the Minecraft franchise and a beginner friendly version of Diablo that you will surely enjoy. Number 7. Hotshot Racing if you're looking for a fast-paced arcade racing game with stylish retro visuals and a lot of oomph under the trunk, Hot Shot Racing will scratch that itch. This is a beautiful looking and if I may, quite challenging racing game that controls beautifully on your Android or iPhone. There are a lot of characters to choose from and each have a bunch of cars that fit their style. Also there's a bunch of tracks from the coast to the scenic mountain racetrack to the jungle and more. Game modes we have the quick race, online multiplayer races as well as the Grand Prix. Hotshot Racing has vibes of games like Outrun, Daytona USA and Ridge Racer, so if you're into these kind of racing games, chances are you will have a blast with this one. Number 6. New Super Lucky's Tale 
For all the 3D platformers fans out there, new Super Lucky Stale is the real deal. You play as Lucky on his adventures through the Book of Ages, which is a magical artifact that opens doors to amazing worlds. The gameplay is a mix of 3D platforming, 2D side-scrolling challenges, mini-games, mini-puzzles and some fun boss battles. The world and level design is colorful, the characters are charming and a great job has been done with the voiceovers. It takes a bit of time getting used to the on-screen controls on mobile, but once you do, there is a fantastic game here to enjoy as New Super Lucky Tale is a love letter to 3D platformers of old for all ages to enjoy. Number 5. Sea of Thieves while Sea of Thieves got a lot of criticism back when it released in 2018, I'm playing it for the first time in 2021 and a lot has happened since then. But first, Sea of Thieves is a pirate game, but not any pirate game, it's in my opinion the pirate game to play. This is a sandbox game where you can go treasure hunting, sail the seas, shoot yourself out of a cannon onto an enemy ship or harpoon a giant sea monster. When it comes to multiplayer, the fun goes threefold as you can team up with other players and make a crew or attack other players and steal their loot, all for the quest to be the ultimate pirate. The game initially launched with a serious lack of content and bugs and while not all the bugs have been fixed, the game now has a tutorial, something that's been missing at launch leaving many new players without much of a clue when it comes to the game's mechanics, plus the constant updates added more content and rewards and there is no better time to put on your pirate hat and sail the seas from the comfort of your mobile. Number 4. Streets of Rage 4 Back in the 90s I used to drop small fortunes in the arcades and one of the games responsible for my often empty pockets but worth it moments in my childhood was Streets of Rage and this, as the title hints to, is the fourth game in the series and while it's an updated version compared to the first three games, most of the original cast is here along with some new ones. The combat is satisfying, the retro style music is amazing and there's a ton to unlock giving the game a great replay value. You can play solo or in 2 players co-op mode online and I highly recommend playing the online co-op as the more the merrier and it brings a sense of nostalgia to those days you would walk into an arcade and have an amazing co-op session playing Streets of Rage or Cadillac and Dinosaurs with a complete stranger. Streets of Rage 4 is a must play for fans of the genre. Number 3. Celeste just when I thought that there wasn't anything new that platform games could bring to the table, I played Celeste and I was proven wrong and I'm happy about it. Celeste is a fun and challenging game that mixes platforming and problem solving which is a fresh and interesting aspect on its own but when you add the charm of the characters and the story and an amazing soundtrack, you got yourself a masterpiece. The visuals are retro inspired, the level design is amazing and the humor right up there with everything else. Everything about Celeste just oozes charm and I can easily say that this is one of the best platformers ever made and must be experienced. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mom? Allison? Yeah. Number 2. Tell Me Why I'm a big fan of games like Life is Strange and Heavy Rain and Tell Me Why is the latest narrative adventure by Don't Not Entertainment, the same guys behind Life is Strange. Tell Me Why is a thriller revolving around Tyler and Allison, twins who use their special bond to unravel mysteries of their loving but troubled childhood. The story is set in a small town in Alaska and there is a total of 3 chapters to see how the story unfolds with your choices and decisions. Tell Me Why is easily one of the best games by the developer if not the best and what makes it so special is not one or two aspects but how everything works together so well from the story, the characters and the voice acting. The chapters in Tell Me Why are well paced, the puzzles are whimsical and the characters and story have a lot of charm and depth. This one is definitely worth checking out. 
And before we check out the top spot, if you enjoyed this video and want to see part 2 where I show the best games to play with a controller and do comparisons with the Xbox Series X, do bomb that like button AG Nation and let's smash the 1000 likes goal. Number 1 Dragon Quest XI S Dragon Quest is a franchise I loved before even knowing that it was in fact Dragon Quest. My first interaction with the saga was through the anime from the early 90s, Great Adventure of Dai. Fast forward to 2020 and Dragon Quest XI is easily one of the best RPGs I ever played. The story is captivating, the characters are charming and intriguing, the combat is turn-based and the Dragon Quest classic soundtrack, along with the cel-shaded visuals, make for an absolute joy of a classic JRPG to experience. You will be in the shoes of the Luminary. You can swap party members, upgrade to a skill tree that is easy to swap the combat style for each character, you can also ride horses and the battles, unlike previous Dragon Quest games, aren't random, so you can choose to engage in battle or avoid enemies altogether. I've poured over 100 hours in this game and there is easily 100 more if you are a completionist. Dragon Quest XI S plays well on mobile with the on-screen controls and it is a must play for all of you RPG fans out there. And that sums up my picks for the best Xbox One and Series X games to play on mobile without a controller. And now I wanna hear from you in the comments. Will you be trying cloud gaming or is it not your cup of tea? Of course as always if you enjoyed this video clicking the like button does help me out a lot and I would really appreciate that and if you're new consider subscribing because I put out new videos like this every week. Also special thanks to my Patreon and YouTube members and if you also want to support my videos and get access to the exclusive rewards links are down in the description. Once again I'm Ben, thank you Nation, for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Android GameSpot. Stay epic!